Hello, welcome back to Uncle Buck's Garage. Today, I'm going to do a little experiment. I got a lot of work done this week, and uh, I'm taking the tomorrow off, so I thought, what better time than to try something I've always wanted to try. And what we're going to try is, will plain Walmart vinegar fix rust? Or eat rust, or neutralize rust, or get rid of rust, however you want to say it. So I got an assortment of different types of metals here. I have hardened bolts. This is a seatbelt bolt. I've got, you know, a water neck off of. I've got body bolts. You know how rusty and crusty they get. I have, I don't know if this is chrome or stainless. It's a pin with a carter pin end in it. Um, this is a bumper bolt. That should be chrome or nickel underneath there. This is supposed to be chrome molly off of a roll cage, you know, for fitting off a roll cage. So we'll try that. Uh, body shim. I'm curious if it'll clean up an old band clamp. And then this is the biggie. This is this is a hold down for inside the inch compartment for the jack and the, all the assembly. So that one is crusted and nasty. So that's going in there. So I already have this one popped. See if it's enough to cover everything up. Not quite. Let's open a second. Not well. Yeah, that's enough. We we'll get in here, right? Okay. Everything is covered, and it is six o'clock in the afternoon. And let's see. This I'm a little bit late. It's like eight, two and a half hours instead of two hours. So. Let's pop the top on this thing and see what happens. All right, here we go. Okay. Let's see what we got. Let's turn some light on here. Okay. Turn some light on. Let's see what we got. And I hate to take my fingers in there. Because it's going to, I'm going to stink for days. But here we go. All right. Let's see what we got going on. Do a little rubbage. Oh, all right. Jeez, that was nasty. All right, how about a body bolt? How about a rusted, nasty body bolt? Well, okay. I'm seeing fresh metal. This is two and a half hours. Yep, it's coming off on my fingers. Okay, let's try the... This is supposed to be the chrome Monte steel. This is just with my fingers. Wow, okay. On the back side. It feel this one feels a little sticky. But she's already converting. All right. How about a body pushing? She's already turning. Okay. So let me see. Let me see the worst one of the bunch. Well, okay. Well, okay. She's already converting the metal part of the band. And the band is cleaner already. Wow. Okay, look at that. It's coming off. All right. And then this was the... Oh, wow. This is... Look. This is the chrome or stainless pin. Oh, 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 look at that. And I'm just rubbing this with my finger. Look at there. Okay, we're going to put that back in now. The one that I was curious about, this is the, yeah, that one's already starting to work too. Okay, this is the one that I'm more interested in. This was the roast, crusted, rusty, nasty fied. Huh. Huh. Okay. Okay, so this was... Oh, look at that. Look at that one. That one was covered in rust. That chrome or that stainless one. All right, so... you got. To, I got to tell you, it already looks like it's starting to work. So that's about two and a half hours in 100% solution of vinegar. Just regular Walmart distilled white vinegar. So we're going to button this up. 
and I'm gonna put the lid back on it. And it is 8:30 right now, Saturday night. So I'm gonna leave this overnight for at least 12 hours. See what happens. So to be continued. Okay, it's Sunday morning. I'm a little bit late. It's almost 11 o'clock. So this has been sitting in the concoction since 8 o'clock last night. So that's what? 15 hours? All right. First you seen it, first me seen it. Oh, okay. Let's turn some light on here. Ooh. Okay. That's different. Hey. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's even eating the stuff up. I don't know if you can see. It's starting to eat the stuff up from inside. Okay. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, where's that chrome piece? Here's that chrome piece. Hey. Wow. Okay. Hmm. The water's gross looking. How about the big chunk? Hey, I'm starting to see debris come off this. Wow. Okay. Where's that chrome molly piece? Looky there. I mean, that's just my thumb. Taking the surface. For, look. Wow. Wow. Just, that's just slick. Oh, okay. Let's see what else do we have in here? That. Bar got kind of nasty quick, but yeah, off the stainless part from the clamp itself, like brand new. Huh? Oh, yeah, this is the look here. Look at that, it's take just taking the rust right off the, the head of that bolt, and that thing was covered yesterday. When we started and this is 15 hours look at that all the all the all the threads okay so i think i'm gonna leave this alone i'm gonna give it another i think i'm gonna give it another 12 hours or some more time and see we'll go 24 hours okay, okay let's take this off since it's been ew gross okay so let's see how we did Ugh, it smells like a summer's eve Ugh. all right wow okay bolts all the goo is just gone look at that Wow. Okay. That works. Nuts and bolts. Okay. Banjo clamp. Band clamp. Let's see how this turned out. See, there's just all kinds of goo and everything coming off of this. Backside, the old rust. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. All right. Wow, it just even eats, it even kind of eats the old grease and stuff off. All right, that, no bolts, bolts, and just the cake down, baked on rust and stuff. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, 
comes right off. There. Oh, yeah, okay. This is the... Wow, yeah. You guys all know how uh, seatbelt bolts, you know, they sit in there for decades, and they just get forgotten about. And, wow. That had a serious, serious amount of rust around that shank. And it's basically gone. Just comes right off. Okay, so this is 24 hours. And it's like new again. Well, kind of like new. All right, so there we go. Here's the crusty busty. Yep. And you guys all know how gross these things get. And they're just sitting in water for years. Uh-huh. Wow, look at there. There's metal there. There's still some heavy debris. This is like rubberized something that got stuck to it. But, I mean, the snout and the threads. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, chrome. Oh, yeah. Chrome. Now, yep, looks like there was some pitting all the way through it. But all in all, compared to what it was, yeah. And the spring ball is working again, where it was completely seized before. Ooh. Alright, what else we got? Oh, yep. Yeah, killed. You know, body bushings. Or, um, yeah. Spacer bushings. Neutralized and dead. Takes it right off. See, that was completely covered. That's 24 hours, so I imagine if I left this in for three or four days, everything would be gone. And then, oh yeah, the bumper bolt. Yep, all of it's all of it's gone now. Looks like this was wasn't a chrome bumper bolt, but it was a painted bumper bolt. But it has completely removed all. Of the rust from that bolt. The rest of it's just coming off. Look. Quick. Brush on the threads. Down to clean metal. Yep. And let me see what else I got in here. Oh, those are just body bolts. Yep. Clean as a whistle. All right. Here's the biggie. Oh, no. I got one more. Ah, the chrome molly piece. Lucky here. Like brand new. Like brand new. Even a little bit of grease that was on it on this corner has been taken off. Really? Okay. That's bare metal. Okay, so here we go. This is the biggie. And yes, it is eating away at it. Now, you can see metal here, down to the metal, already just in a day. But you can see gray, that's the actual metal metal. Okay, that's, that's the metal that was underneath all the rust. And this is just a little brush. So, I could see where this, I could just leave this in here for another several days. And it's completely pitted, and it's ate up. You know, it sat probably in liquids for years and decades. But, yes, chrome, 
metal, body bolts, heavy rust on non-treated, chromoly, stainless, like new, and really heavily pitted. It can remove all of it. I'm going to leave them in for another week. I'm going to leave until next weekend. And just let them sit. Let's see what a week will do. Hey. It's Friday. It has been seven full days of this sitting in that bucket with pure vinegar with four or five different types of metals. So let's see what we got. As you can tell, it kind of the corrosion on the lid kind of got nasty over a week. It's been so let's see what we got. This is hard to do one handed. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Uh, my hands are going to sting so bad. Okay. All right. So we got the band clamp, which looks like brand new okay body bolts oh it's look look it's just by finger it's just rubbing off so no rust oh yeah and even old rubber silicone or something it's just coming off my finger okay so that works and the um seatbelt bolt like brand new the bumper bolt like brand new see that's just coming off yeah even the little stuff on the edge is just coming off my finger nothing in the threads nothing left nothing on the end okay that's perfectly clean eight completely off the other body bolt yep it just i uh, just look Look, that's just the just the old garbage coming off. Nothing in the threads. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. And the look. All the crud is gone from inside. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can see. She clean on the inside. She clean on the outside. Now she has, you can see, see the texture. Now that's that surface rust. That's been killed, but yeah. And that's one of the worst parts on your car or truck, on your old stuff that gets the most corrosion is them fittings on the manifolds. All right, body bolt. Yep. Like brand new, clean. And where's my piece? Where's my Molly? There's my Molly. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Clean as a whistle. Yep. That was completely covered in the surface. All right. Where's my chrome? There's my chrome. Oh, hell. Look at here. Now, there's some rusted through pitting on this, but the rust on it, as you can see, it's completely turned black. It's That's just where it's completely damaged through the finish, but... There isn't any rust at all left. It's all completely neutralized, and the ball works. The spring ball in it is working. All right, and then, oh, yeah, the body shim. Yep. And you know how bad these things rust up over years, and that's clean as a whistle. So do we have anything else? Nope, here we go. Here's the biggie. Let's see what we got. All right. Take the brush to this real quick. Just the surface stuff, just to see what this is like. And I mean, it's look, it's down to the, it's completely gone. Now, like I said, this is, this crust on this was an eighth of an inch thick all the way around it. And this is just a, it's a steel bristle brush, but I mean, it has completely neutralized. The surface rust on this piece. Now, I'm not saying this piece is perfect because it's completely pitted and gone. I mean, completely pitted and gone. But if you needed it, 
you couldn't find it and you needed to, to use it, this is completely usable again. Look, see, okay. Now you see, that's the original. That's the, that's the crust that was on it. And it's just, it's just flaking off from the, that's plastic. That ain't metal. So there you go, boys. It ate, I mean, that was busted, crusted, grossness. I mean, gone. It was gone, absolutely gone. And now it's down to bare metal. That's seven days, 100% vinegar on about four different types of metals. See what it all does. It will eat 16th of an inch thick rust off of a plate. Now, here's the thing that we have to wash these because if I just let this these dry, open air, it will continue to rust. The vinegar will still keep eating. So we're gonna take these out to the, um, we're gonna take these outside to the hose and we're gonna just dump this out in the driveway cause this will kill weeds. Uh, look at the sediment. It just got, there's just all kinds of stuff in this. So let's well, here we go. And here is the end results, and they turned out pretty good. Now, that vinegar is a heavy, heavy acid, solvent, whatever you want to say, because it will take it all the way down to metal and take all the coatings off, um, except for stainless chrome. This one actually turned out pretty good, chrome molly. Um, but, um, like... You can see it's already started to flash rust because whatever coating was on there from the factory, see, whatever coating was on there from the factory is gone. And that's just the surface paint and old paint and shit. But, I mean, it just takes it all the way down to the bare metal. Oh, and here, I want to warn you. This is the staining. It's just for me handling that liquid. It stained my hands. I've washed my hands three times, twice with lava and once with Dawn. And it's it completely stained my fingers. So just, I would, I would suggest a glove if you're going to let it sit for a week, but it takes it all the way down and see it, it leaves the texture on it, but whatever coating it has on it, it takes it all the way down. Goodness, bare metal. Like, I mean, it just, it's just bare metal. See, and it's even starting to flash rust a little bit too, because whatever coating came on originally from the factory is gone. So that's about it. I would say if you, if I would not do this for body pieces that are going to be shown, used, whatever. I mean, for a 24 hour soak or overnight to get to kill surface rust, to neutralize it, I can see doing that. But if you have a part that you have to save and it's completely crowded over and gross and you, yeah, this is the way to go, but I would not suggest leaving anything in there besides something you're just testing because this was just a little science experiment uh, to see what would happen after seven days. So if you enjoyed this, check out my other stuff. I have a couple other videos about different things I've done with uh, vinegar and rust. So if you're still here, like, share, and subscribe, smash that button, hit that bell, tell your friends, check out unclebuckstuff.com. See if you can like a hat or a t-shirt, help out the channel. Y'all have a great day. It's a great day today. Could be an even better day tomorrow. Y'all be good.